When you're about to sell your home, you can't just move everything out of it and leave it empty. It's important to make it look lived in or staged. And that's why I'm talking to real estate expert Eddie Cash about some of the things to keep in mind to make your home look great so that it can sell. Eddie, this house is basic right now. This this room just doesn't look warm and fuzzy. That's right. This house is bare bones right now because it is vacant. Uh, and again, that first impression is so important that we need to uh, make sure that we capitalize on some of the features of a home, no matter what size home. This home is about 1450 square feet but we need to make sure when we're selling a home that we are selling square footage. So we want to make sure that we show every inch of it uh, in its best light. When I walked in, I thought, well, I don't, wouldn't know what to do with this room. Where would I put my sofa? Where would I put my chair, right? Right, that, that's a very common problem, um, which is easily taken care of by some staging, some vignettes to uh, set a scene when someone has an extra large kitchen or eating area that's adjacent to a sitting room. People are confused where to put tables, chairs, et cetera. So often it will help if we just set, give them a little bit of idea of what goes there. And also by doing that, you make the room look larger in some instances. I know that's counterintuitive to put we things do. in, but. It does seem very backwards sometimes. Yeah. A lot of times we go into a house, if it's lived in, we'll take things out. But also when a house is vacant, it, was, it will help it to put some things in to, uh, again, capitalize the space in a house like this to point out some of its features. Okay, let's put some things in and make okay, this house look lived in. All right. All right. What a difference a few pieces of furniture make, Eddie. I can't believe it's the same room. Absolutely. Tell me what you did. All right, so uh, we wanted to accentuate some of the positives about the house. Yes. Uh, so for example, by hanging the mirror there, we brought some attention to the fact that we have the cathedral ceiling because it draws your eyes up. Right. Um, also, we started with a fresh paint color, making sure everything is neutral in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, we've made sure that we place the furniture so when you come in the front door, you're not obstructed by a couch. That's why we have tucked the couch away over here. So it's not something you run into when you come in the front door. Right, everything just looks so warm. I mean, it, it's inviting. You want to come in and see what's in the rest of the house. Right, absolutely. Again, first room that you walk in is this living room, so that we don't have the advantage of having a foyer to set a scene. So we have to make sure that our living room is pristine. We've kept everything very neutral and inviting. Uh, we made sure that pathways are clear, mm -hmm. so you can get, for example, when you come in the front door and you look all the way to the back, yeah. so when we have the uh, patio door there, you, you get a visual that the house is actually large and roomy and that sort of thing. So any of our buyers who are watching who needs some help staging a large house or a small house, you can help them out. Absolutely. So all my listings, whether it be vacant or whether it be occupied, we go through with the homeowner and take a look and decide. It doesn't have to be costly to stage. Um, I keep pieces on hand. Um, so even if you are still occupying your home, we can take out some maybe large bulky pieces and bring in some more neutral smaller pieces. Fantastic. Well, if you need help selling your home and staging your home, be sure to give Eddie Cash a call or find him on the web. The address is eddiecash.com.